Hey, it's Corey, welcome back to the channel, and I got a special video for you here today. It's giveaway time once again, and it's gonna be a good one to wrap up 2020, for sure. This giveaway is gonna be sponsored by my friends at American Musical Supply. We've teamed up in the past, and we got another really special and fun giveaway, for sure. This is gonna be some good stuff. Not one, but two prizes will be given to the grand prize winner. So 2020 has been, no doubt, like the year of the live stream, right? There's a good chance you've seen me do them all the time, once a week, I was doing them for every Thursday. We had a great time for at least an hour to an hour and a half, teaching lessons, answering questions, having a good time with a couple hundred people every week. So I would get a lot of questions about, hey, I wanna do my own live streaming. What are some good tools? So I talked to my friends at American Musical Supply and we put a little live stream guitar package together. I think you're gonna dig this. We got lots to dive into in this video, but let me just talk about a few things first. First of all, American Musical Supply is the sponsor of this video and they're a great online shop. I've been using them for many, many years. Still love to get the catalog in the mail. They have a number of different ways that you can not only order and pay for products, but you get it super fast because they have warehouses all around the country. I mean, you're probably gonna get your guitar or amp or pedal in two days max, right? So when they send me something, it's almost here overnight. And I don't pay for overnight shipping, it just comes that fast. So they're a great online retailer. I hope you support them and there's gonna be more info about how to connect with them in the links below. So like I said, I get a lot of questions about live streaming in this day and age and how to get good guitar tone on the internet and what do I need? And a great tool for that is the Line 6 Pod Go. Now I picked up one of these for my live streams and for my online lessons because it's just easier to plug this in sometimes, dial up a quick sound, and then I can teach my one-on-one -on -one private students or I can do a live stream really quickly. Um, it offers so much. I mean, tons of amp models, cabinets. You can load your own impulse responses into it. Uh, it is basically like the little brother of the Helix family. Um, you can use it as an audio interface to get started recording guitar into your computer. Number of different outputs on the back to accommodate whether you're plugging into an amplifier, uh, the, uh, the computer, or maybe some PA type speakers. It's a fun, fun pedal. And a lot of people just say, hey, um, I don't know what pedals to buy. I don't know anything about effects. This is a great place to start because you can kind of preview what you might like. And then maybe you go buy that, uh, that overdrive pedal that's simulated in here because you want the real thing and not what's been modeled, which also sounds really great in here. But it's a good way to help you choose. Uh, for what you get, it's an inexpensive uh, package for sure, but entering the contest means you could possibly get it for free. So you got your pod go for your electric tones, but maybe you want to mic up an acoustic guitar. Maybe you want to sing a little bit, bring your duo partner over for a live streaming performance to YouTube or Facebook. You need a mixer, you need an interface, and the QSC Touch Mix 8 does both of those things really well among a bunch of other things that go on under the hood of this, this little guy. Um, so many inputs. We have eight here on the top. We got two stereo. We have auxiliary outputs. You can even connect your phone or iPad to this thing to mix remote. There's so much this can do uh, in addition to adding effects like reverb, delay, EQ, compression. This is a pro, pro device for sure, and it's a perfect companion for you know your performances, your pod go, any of your, your guitar modeling equipment, you name it. You can put it in this, stream it to Facebook, YouTube, whatever else you're streaming to these days. I don't know what the kids are doing. <laughs> but this will really, really help you. And I think we're gonna be probably streaming for a long time, and I don't think it's ever gonna go away, uh, which is great because it's a lot of fun and you can reach people. And when you have high quality audio and video, um, it makes the, the experience a lot better for not only you, but the viewer as well. These are great tools that I'm really thankful for AMS to, uh, to supply so that we can give them away to somebody that's been watching the channel and helping me grow it so, so faithfully uh, over this past, past year. So let's talk a little bit more about what these two units can do for you. I'll play some tones uh, in the pod go. I have a couple presets dialed up, but a little bit of housekeeping. First of all, pod go presets, Click the link below. I'm in a special folder where the four presets I'm gonna demo are in there. You can have them just for entering. The contest link, you can click below in the description as well. You'll see the link for that contest. Enter as many times as you like and be sure to take advantage of all of the options to boost your entry values. 
Okay, and lastly, if you're digging what I'm doing on this channel and you found this helpful, please subscribe to it. That's what helps me the most to reach more people and to get giveaways like this on a continual basis. So subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to be notified of when I put up new content. And uh, let's play the Pod Go, the Q Mix, QSC Touch Mix 8, and uh, we'll have some fun. All right, so let's take a look at what we got going on here, how we got it all hooked up. First of all, let's talk about the guitar. It's my PRS DGT that does a great job of humbucker and single coil tone. So if we need to go back and forth, we certainly can with these presets that I'm going to show you. Now, if you look um, here, you see that the QSC mixer is on a little stool here. And I have the pod go over on my desk. That's where it normally lives when I use it. So I wanted to hook it up back there. But you're going to see that the pod go edit software will appear here. And what we can do is really talk about how not only that integrates with the pod, but it's really easy to use and you can really see your entire signal chain as you're building presets on your own. Now, as I mentioned, uh, I'm going to give you guys four presets that you can download in the link below. Uh, it's in the same spot that you're going to find the, uh, the link for the contest. So make sure you take advantage of that because since there can only be one winner, I was like, well, let's give some presets away to some folks that might already own a PodGo. All right, so then uh, the PodGo is going into the touch mix here on channels one and two. And I have another microphone wired in here on uh, input number five. I have the phantom power engaged. It's a, it's a nice handheld condenser mic. And I have my lavalier going in directly. I'm bypassing this just so I can have it sort of as a different cleaner signal I can, I can mess with later when I edit the video for you guys. So that's pretty much it. If you look here, you see that there's a preset called CC Twin Clean. Now what I did was I really just kind of took a Fender Twin model. That's great. I should be able to, oh, here we go. Still getting used to this trackpad here. Uh, down here it says US Double Normal. So it's the normal channel of a Fender Twin. Sounds pretty good. Sounds good in all position. I wanted to give you a really basic sort of clean sound to get started. It's got the 63 spring reverb on it, a little slap echo. It's always nice for... Makes your guitar sound a little bit fuller. So you're going to get that preset and that's going to it's going to get you started. If you're new to Pod Go Land, it's a good place to start for sure. Now, of course, you can add, oh, I forgot, I added a little tremolo. So just like a Fender amp would have tremolo. There's all different things you can do in there. Speed it up, slow it down, try different modulation effects, vibrato, uh, phaser, chorus, all that stuff. I just thought that was a good one to get started with. So then, really, once you have um, that saved, it kind of goes over here into this. You'll see there's a list of, um, of presets there. And we're going to go down to the next one called Arconic Blues. Now, this one is not much different. Um, I really have um, I've gotten interested in this patch with this PRS amp. It's called an Archon. I played one at NAMM. They do a good job of being a good pedal platform. Um, they're a nice tube amp for sure that stays clean, has a nice dirty sound. But I use it for some of my lessons. So although it's very clean, it can get sort of just a little bit of warmth on the top end. I even added a compressor to the front, the LA Studio Comp, just to kind of keep it really forward sounding. So when I'm doing live streams, I will use compression, and I'm using some now on the microphone even you're going to hear, because I want it to be really in your face, because when you're listening on a phone and the volume dips, you're like, what was that? What was that again? So if you have a nice sort of even, you know, sort of normalized volume coming out of your devices, you're going to get, um, you know, sort of, I think, a more consistent tone, and it's going to be uh, more pleasing to, to listen to while they're watching you play on your live stream. So let's say I have that tone, and now I want to work in, boom, a vocal mic. We can bring this one in here, and you can hear I got some reverb going on. And when you're talking during your set breaks, you know, you want to kill that reverb. 
just hit effects mute there on the touch mix. Boom. This is going into input number five. I can do anything I want here with the, the touch mix, if you will. I can adjust any of those faders. I can also use the joystick to kind of um, control any of those as well. And you can do some real fine adjustments. And what's cool is I just plug this mic in. And I went to the presets, and I hit the preset for for the male vocal. It added some compression, it added some EQ, a little bit of gate, and it sounds... I added the reverb, and I think it's really good. I'm not going to sing you any songs, because YouTube will, will uh, they, they'll flag me for copyright stuff on that. So no, no, uh, <laughs> no cover songs today, but... Of simulating what might happen for you. So you got your electric guitar, you got your mic, maybe you have another person that wants to join you and we can talk about that too, but maybe you're... I don't have the live stream blues no more Because I got my QSC in line six. Oh, never mind, you get it. <laughs> so um, I'm going to keep on this mic here just for a minute. And so we can hit, hit the effects mute. We'll go dry. And you can see we got plenty of inputs if we want to bring in an acoustic guitar, keyboards. We could run keyboard stereo into either 9 and 10 or 11 and 12. I got my in ear monitors on going into this. Um, so I'm monitoring there. Uh, let's see, what else could we talk about that's not too in-depth? Um, you, you have separate auxiliary outputs. You want to send a separate headphone mix to somebody's in-ears or a monitor wedge. Anything like that, you have so much control over because the QSC, um, what, they, what QSC thought about when they designed this was how can we take all the features of a pro, really pro analog mixer, put it into this small digital platform, but also give you um, something that you can record to something you can record as, a, as an interface. You can use it as a recording interface between you, the mixer, and your computer. Um, now you can, of course, since it's going to be an audio interface, use it, of course, for live streams, for Facebook and YouTube. And when you use any software, even YouTube alone, you'll just be able to use this. Um, you can go into your computer's audio settings and select it. You'll be able to just start streaming right away with high-quality audio. Um, now... There's always a learning curve with this kind of stuff, so take it slow, but make sure you sort of access the YouTube channels of QSC and Line 6 and all the forums that are out there with Facebook and so on, because people are, are really, they're, they're quick to give tips and help you problem solve any, any issues you might have, okay? So, those are two clean tones. Let's talk about, um, I'm going to move this mic out of the way. We're going to go back to my lab here, just so I can be unencumbered. All right, so you might think, well, what does a guy like you do with a Pod Go, since I've got amps and a wall of pedals back there? Well, here's the reason I like the Pod Go, aside from using it for um, my one-on-one -on -one Zoom style lessons or live streams from time to time, is it allows me to experiment. Like maybe, uh, maybe I don't have a cool phaser that I wanna get. Maybe I'll try it in here, maybe I'll go buy the real thing at some point. Or maybe I wanna try a matchless sound or a Soldano. Those kinds of amp sounds are in the Pod Go and they may influence you later on down the road. Or maybe you just like uh, having a lot of choices. And as a live streamer, maybe you're doing some some gigs or some cover things or, or maybe you're doing interviews. It doesn't matter. Um, there's gonna be something that you can get out of the pod go that will help you for sure. Um, so speaking of that, I don't have a train wreck amp because they're highly sought after, but they do offer that amp model in the pod go. So I dialed up this preset called Dirty Train, um, just a straightforward, great kind of rock sound. <laughs> My preset's pretty basic. You're going to see it um, above my right shoulder there. Um, there's just some plate reverb, you know. <laughs> plate reverb seems to kind of be very musical. It gets out of the way of your tone. Uh, and then one thing I like to do with a, virtually every one of these presets I make is I put a parametric EQ in there somewhere after the cabinet um, and take off a bunch of high end to make it sound uh, even more realistic because sometimes these digital boxes when they're you know the, the tones being spread over the wire <laughs> it can get a little crispy and a little brittle up there so I feel like it gets more realistic and saggy uh, if you take that high end off of there um, not a whole lot going on there we'll go back to the amp and I love how it has the visual here this is really cool of course my pads not my trackpad is not working ah so we got that sound <laughs> And I said, okay, let's say you're using that for maybe your, your normal rock tone, but you want to throw in a little boost. So I throw in 
what they call the kinky boost. <laughs> Take that off. It's just a little, a little more saturation. And it does a really unique job, authentic job, of reacting to the amp model like you think it would. Okay? So you can do that. You can have that set up on it. You can assign that to a pedal and make that your boost pedal. Okay? Let's check out another tone and then we'll wrap it up. All right, well, who doesn't love an old Marshall, right? Well, of course, you can get that kind of sound out of the pod go. Uh, I thought, let's model the 100-watt super lead because mine behind me is only 50 watts, and we need 100. <laughs> um, so I paired that with a 25-watt greenback cabinet, a little bit of plate reverb, and then, of course, my EQ. And I also put a Klon Centaur-style model or pedal uh, in front, so if I want a little mid boost, we'll be able to do that. So, turn the pedal on. You can hear it really juices the front end of the amp just like a pedal normally would, but it also gives you sort of that, you know, upfront feel of a Klon as well. So just a quick little demo. I'm not going to go shred my brains out here because we just want to talk about how we incorporated the Podgo with the touch mix. You have essentially a, a completed signal path, guitar, mic, pod, touch mix, right to your computer, right to the internet. Okay. So I'm giving these babies away, complete with uh, a couple presets included. Uh, and hey, even if you don't win, you can still click the link to get the presets, right? It's a lot of fun if you're a Podgo owner. Or maybe you're so inspired that you go buy one from American Musical Supply. So I thought, what better way to wrap up 2020 than with a giveaway like this? So many of us have been doing live streams, Zoom calls, all that stuff, and you can use these tools to make your sound better across the internet and in all your live streams, whether it be on Facebook, YouTube, you name it. These are going to be so helpful. And I thought, man, let's let's give these away to one lucky winner and let's give away a couple pod presets to those who enter as well. So don't forget, you can enter to win the contest in the link in the video description below. You can also find those pod go presets there too. That's my gift for you guys watching uh, watching this video. And if you're a pod go user or you're inspired to go buy one, go ahead and maybe wait till after the contest. But that's up to you. And a special thank you to American Musical Supply, QSC, and Line 6 for helping me out with this contest. It's going to make somebody really happy, and I think it's going to make their 2020 uh, end on a high note for sure. And special thanks to all of you guys that have been watching my channel and really helping me grow it. It's been great to kind of build this little community and all these followers and supporters have been so kind. Um, these giveaways are just a way to kind of give back to you all. Um, sorry that only one of you can win this package, but there'll be more and more giveaways coming for sure. So stay tuned. And of course, if you want to stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. That way you always know when I'm putting out new content and you can hang with me on live streams when I do them as well. There's always some Something going on at this channel. Uh, I have a lot of fun, not only with the gear, but the, in the interaction I get with all of you commenters and folks that come to the live stream. All right, it's Corey Congilio doing another giveaway. QSC Touch Mix 8, Line 6 Pod Go, American Musical Supply. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Don't forget to subscribe and enter to win the contest.